Howdy, gang. Thank you, Dave. Back here giving YouTube. Uh, stay on YouTube. Uh, it's called uh, Two More for Mustache. So I, I love to share this with you great fellows out there. Uh, I made a paint inventory uh, uh, this morning. And see how much paint I needed for my Stuka. I had no hollow brow, no dunkle grunt, and uh, I didn't have any uh, any more of that uh, dark green too they used, which is uh, a brown gr brown grunt, a granite grunt, <coughs> RLM colors. I mean that was a uh, that was uh, registered for the Stuka for all German aircraft. I didn't have any uh, RLM colors, so I went down to the hobby shop there and got me some more paint. So I got a load of paint here. I like to show it to you and. I got something special for you guys. Um, so I'll tell you one thing, guys. I'm between my Stuka and, and uh, more kits I'm buying. I'm very, very happy. I tell you, I'm, I'm just having a ball. I'm really enjoying myself immensely. Okay, guys, uh, to get the ball rolling here for starters, as I went down there to build up my paint supplies, running out of building supplies, I had to get me some glue and some more paint and such. And uh, so, well, Frank, you got no ILM colors for your for German aircraft. You better get a bunch right now because I got that Stuka right there. I want to get, uh, I need paint for my Stuka. And uh, so, now I have a shot, got a bunch of cup paint. So, for starters, uh, I went on and got me some Tamaya glue here. It's a liquid cement. It's supposed to be extra thin or something like that. I've seen it on Chris and Alex Modeling, and uh, Alex Modeling has it, and a lot of the other great builders out there, they, they use the stuff too. To me, I've never used it before, never even tried it, so I'm going to try it out. It looks like it works pretty good, so I'll give it a whirl, see what's shaking with this stuff. It looks pretty good, and I got 20% off on it, being an IPMS member and a senior citizen, discount Buckeye card, wherever it is. <clears throat> Not much help, but it helps out a lot. Anything to save a nickel, save a dime, is good enough for Frankie Day. Okay, guys, and I got some uh, black green right here. I got me two jars of that, and um, I got some uh, two bottles of um, Hullabrow, which we have my Stuka. We got Duckle Grun. RLM yellow. RLM gray. RML LM gray. I can't pronounce it. And that includes that. So I need those paints anyway for my, for my lip flopper. I gotta have appropriate colors. Because I try to uh, mix some colors using my federal colors chart I have. And uh, so far, it has those uh, lip flopper markings. So most of my paint chips, fellas, right here, I highly recommend this. Maybe you guys got some. These are called paint charts. If you can take your paint and mix it, if, as long as you know how to mix color, your paint colors, you can uh, you can be able to uh, mix it using these federal color charts to give you. These are all federal standard color charts. Uh, not the funny about these charts. These are actually the real color chips that aircraft use. So far out of this book right here, using greens and browns and grays, I came up with about two colors that'll match uh, that'll match the Tamaya brands and the Model Master brands, but everything else I uh, match using the Federal Standard Code uh, number call outs on it. So I went ahead and just bought the paint. Makes life a little simpler that way. Okay, guys, let me get this uh, paint out of the way and we'll go for the surprise. Okay, you guys going over here? Keep staying right here because you'll be on an airplane pretty soon. Okay, guys, I broke down. To me, I went down there and paid my respect to the Asian brothers. And I think Alex had one of these. Either Alex or, uh, I think Alex Modeling. My buddy Alex. And uh, he has one of these kits. He did an inbox review of it. It inspired me. It sold me. And I bought it. This is the new Trumpeter 132nd scale. Measure spent BF 109E3. This is Adolf Gallon's uh, mighty measure spent that he used. And uh, it comes with uh, three different uh, paint schedules. It comes out 
first paint pay schedule comes out with Goblins 109. On the side panel, it comes with a Swiss and another color right here, and uh, which I'm uh, familiar with. And uh, this color I'm familiar with, this is the paint schedule I'll be doing on it. And uh, again, a very pricey kit. It uh, retails for $62, which is a very handsome fee for plastic. And uh, when you're dealing with Asian brothers, you're going to pay the cost. And uh, personally, I like their kits. They're expensive, but you only live once. And uh, it's a very good kit. Excellent kit. I opened the box, reviewed the instructions and everything. Typical Trumper. It comes with photo etched parts, rubber tires, and such. And uh, we'll open up the box and take a, take a peek, fellas. So anyway, once again, here's the box top right here. And Trumper, they do not include any test shots of the actual model. Everything is just painted pictorial on here. Give you an idea of what color you want to paint your plane. Okay. Once the box tops is opened, you're greeted with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sprues, decal sheet, photo etch sheet, photo etch parts, a very handsome decal with swastikas that got to be formed by the decal. It's not formed in its entirety as a swastika. It's like that of my trumpeter uh, folk wolf condor that I had. Each each swastika I had two decals each swastika. So I don't know why they do that. Why just go ahead and make a swastika? It makes life easy, but. I'm grateful that they did that, so thank you, Trumpeter. I like Alex, I like Swatsikas. Okay, sprue number one, guys. We're going to get close over here. This is the uh, right and left fuselage half right here. As you can see, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, guys. I'm going to be here for a while, so you might as well get some popcorn, get some beer, get a glass of water, milk, whatever you want to drink, and uh, we're going to do this thing right. And uh, right now I'm kind of pretty excited about this stuff. So these are builds down the line, which could turn into group builds. And uh, sprue number one comes out with a fuselage, as. Matter of fact, I'm saved. This goes back in there. I don't want no loose parts. $62. I don't want to lose nothing. Okay, guys. Uh, there's the fuselage right there. As recessed panel lines, just right, typical trumpeter. And uh, you got your rudder. Got your rudder right here. That's the fuselage, right fuselage half. So you got your top right here. That's sprue number one. And the sprue number two. Actually, I did this before I opened it up. Ailerons, flaps, horizontal stabilizers, forward wing slats, intercooler intake fairings, pit top tubes. Exhaust bearings, counterbalances for the control surfaces. That's on that sprue right there. On number two. On sprue number three. Comes the ordnance, which is optional. Comes an auxiliary fuel tank. What kilograms it is is untelling. Kind of your, your, your prop. You got your 765 kilogram, uh, 675 kilogram bomb. 
your landing gear covers pretty well detailed. Your landing gear undercarriage struts. It looks like you have your intercooler fairing for your fuselage right there. And you got a blister right there, which probably fits underneath the wing. Your spinner boss fairing, uh, retina, right? Retainer goes there. And these small parts right here, I'm not telling where they go. They probably go inside the cockpit itself. That's why I surmise. And uh, where did the devil go? Here it is. Excuse my body, guys, my head. Okay, over here. Well, you got your wings. You got your center wing section and your two top wing section panels. Very, very detailed. This is a very beautiful airplane. And it's one thirty second scale. I'm really enjoying this thing. This is a nice airplane. I always love the 109E. It's my favorite. And lastly, the other two sprues right here are just all fittings such as your cockpit floor, your engine. Your engine is comprised of 27 pieces, which makes the engine. Each part is very detailed. This is a gorgeous kit. This is a very gorgeous kit. Clear parts are all baggy, which I'm very delighted and pleased. Those are your, your parts, your clear parts. They're very, very clear, very clean, not foggy at all. Actually, it's almost practically almost legible if you look right through them. A little future on it like that, it really spruce them up. And the last sprue of the kit is a choice of spinners. You can have a 20 millimeter cannon comes out this one here, which is that's the one I'm going to be building on the kit. Then you got two other spinners. So you actually got three spinners that are, that are, that are optional. As you can see. Dump the stuff on the deck here. I don't want the carpet monster getting that. It'd be like uh, throwing money away. I give you some photo etch, typical trumpeter photo etch. Some parts go uh, entertain. These are inner inner coolers, the grills that fit on there, and some cockpit parts and some miscellaneous parts goes on there. I like photo etch if it comes with the kit, but if it don't come with the kit. I don't get it. I just build it out of the box. Only time I use photo etch if I have to buy the kit, if, it, if I had to enter into a show. When you got hundreds upon hundreds of people are coming there and you got judges out there. That's when you you slap on the photo etch and you give it your Sunday finest. Okay, guys. Uh, huh? well, that's through there. It looks like your landing lights right there. Gun sights, too. It also included the kit rubber tires made out of real rubber. And they got shred on them too. Very beautiful. That tailwheel looks like an O-ring. <laughs> matter of fact, all three look like an O-ring. Okay, that includes the parts. Now they give you a, a brochure color call out. This aircraft is eight of gallons aircraft. This is the one I'm going to be modeling. I'm very familiar with this paint schedule on here. But the other two, I'm very doubtful. I've never seen them done that way before. And it gives you the color callouts of Vallejo. Model Masters, <laughs> they only give you two callouts right there. But everything else is either uh, it's Vallejo or Mr. Uh, Hobby Paints. Tamaya, they give you a, a, and Humbro. So actually, uh, Mr. Hobby Paints is what they really uh, trying to uh, put on this color callout chart right here. So they got the Humbro. So actually, Tamaya's on the and and uh, Vallejo they're pretty much neck and neck. 
So Marble Master is only about two paint, two colors to give you. It's called White Insignia White. That's Marble Master, and you got uh, Burnt uh, Burnt Iron. That's Marble Master. It's probably in the metalizer uh, department. The instructions. You got your codes right here, do's and don'ts, your legends and everything. No history, just some typical trumpeter instructions. Exploded views and parts how it's put together. It goes so on and so on. And lastly, the decals. On the kit, they gave you two sheets of decals. On the, on the second sheet here, on the decal sheet here, we'll cut this out here. Guys. We'll, we'll look at the decals. It's hard to see them, fellas, with this, with inside this paper right here. And this uh, acetate baggie. Let me cut this out right here. I should use a better pair of scissors. There you go. Now i got the memo. All right, boys. So this, here it is. I go right back in there, too. I get done. Okay. Decal sheet number one, which is the, this is the decal sheet I'll be using. The backing is all taped on there, so. Oh, I don't know why they tape that like that. That's bad. Here's your swastikas, fellas. Right here, here's your swastikas. They come with two, four, six, eight, set eight pieces. So I imagine there's four of them that makes a swastika. At the same thing did in my trumpeter kit, 148 scale uh, folk wolf uh, 200 uh, condor. And also you got your instrument panel decals on there, and gallons of uh, decals. That's the next sheet right there, sheet number one. And lastly, a sheet number two. I'll put the backing paper back on. I don't want to scratch the decals up. And the other one is, is very colorful. That's the one that has the Swiss markings on it. So that's probably done pre-war measures before Loop Off. Uh, well, actually, it was a Loop Off anyway, before hostilities broke out. Okay, guys, that concludes the inbox review. Of the Trumpeter 132nd scale BF 109E Adolf Gallons, a great Messer Schmidt. And we'll put that down here. After the video, we'll get that thing boxed up and squared away. Here's a new one, guys, another new one. Now that kit. That Trumpeter kit cost me, uh, it, it was retailed to $62. With my finesse discount, a Buckeye card is a senior citizen card. And uh, so, senior citizen card, I didn't even throw in because you don't get much off anyway. And uh, since I was my PMS member, a $62 kit was marked down to $51. So I saved a little cash there. I'm very happy. And, uh, I'm very grateful I got the kit. I'm very happy. It's going to be a wonderful kit, too. Okay, lastly, guys, I went and got this. This is a new release by Ravel and Monogram. This is the uh, English version of the PBO or PV1 Ventura, which is a distant, which is the, uh, the cousin to the Lockheed Hudson bomber. Now, this is the English version of the Ventura bomber. This is 148 scale. The kit retail lists in the hobby shop for $37.95. I got it for $28. This is a wonderful kit. The treatment of the instructions, the treatment of the kit in general, is totally, completely different and miles better than their first production of the United States Navy 
Ventura PBO bomber, which was an excellent kit, beautiful kit. That, the parts on that kit are the same as you got here. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Mark, it's, a, it's the uh, Ventura Mark II RAF bomber. And we'll open it up. Raleigh, hash out, buddy. The instructions are right here. You're greeted with the instructions. And I'll tell you one thing. It's a beautiful kit. And the instructions tells you the history of the aircraft and the, the color call-outs. Uh, well, they'll put an extra attention to detail to the instructions. And here's all your color call-outs right here, fellas. Let's get closer so you can see. I'm getting kind of turned around here. Your color call outs right here. Oh, here's all your parts list and everything. And uh, parts of the kit here, how it's put together and everything. Instructions are instructions. And you're greeted with uh, nine sprues. You got the big fuselage section right there, which is very beefy. It's a big bomber, a beautiful looking airplane it is. This thing is big. And you get a good idea how big it is, folks. It's a nice looking airplane. There it is, right there. And here's all the wings. So you've got nine screws in general. And the special treatment the treatment is, is that on the uh on the Ventura bomber, on the PBO Ventura bomber that did in 48 scale, this was all solid plastic because there was no side windows on the on the naval version of the Ventura bomber. But the Mark, the Mark One Ventura bomber, the English version, they had bomb bombers windows on the side, so they made this whole unit, whole unit, clear plastic. Now here's the kicker to it. I just now discovered this. I was I was astounded when I seen this. I was like, man. Now they're getting, now they're getting, getting the shit done. They gave me these maskings. I don't know what they were first. I didn't open them up. But I had a pretty good idea what they were. Because I've seen it on the Actors Miniatures uh, 148 scale B-25 they did. Well, they gave me these maskings. Now these maskings right here, they go over your windows. Also, the, the, on that, on this piece here, like I showed you, on the bottom of your apartment right there, you take these maskings, you stick it on the side, on, on the, uh, on the scribe areas where the windows go at, and they stick on there. They're on there for keeps until you pull them off. And that way, when you prime the model and paint it, pull those maskings off, beautiful. Anyway, guys, that completes 10 bucks to do this kit. Got 23 minutes on here. I don't want to take this thing too long. I'm very happy, guys. You know, I, I got a couple of good kits. I got a god darn handful of paint and some glue. I got me a hundred cigars. I'm doing great. And uh, and like I said, uh, right now it's the time for me to get it's time to time to get off right over here. And uh, I'm gonna work on my Stuka some more and get a video of that pretty soon. If I have a video of my Stuka tomorrow, and I'll let the Arizona rest for a couple of days. I'll get back on that. And uh, so I'm shaking them off one by one. And uh, I'm going to have, uh, I think I'm going to pick up a 148 scale uh, uh, C-47 tomorrow. And that'll be my final, last entry of Russell Gosling's DD group build. Incidentally, Ravel Monaghan reissued their uh, first production run of the, that's called the Buzz Buggy, which is a C-47 paratrooper version uh, with a D-Day stripes on it. They've got two of them. They, they, they're down to $30 a piece, 148 scale. So uh, I got one on hold, so I'll pick that up tomorrow. I'll talk to Mama Sam if I go down and pick it up. This is she knows, Frank do what you want. And so I'll take it down tomorrow and uh, pick that up and put that in the stash and add that to the Russell Goslin's, uh my last entry to Ru Ru Russell uh, Goslin's, uh DJ group. I wasn't put my 172nd Airlines uh, Boston bomber there, but when I saw a big green bird right there, man, with the evasion strikes on it, he said, that's for me. I should have got that today, but... I kind of held back and pondered around for a while, so I made the final decision. I'm going to buy it. 
Anyway, guys, that completes the inbox uh, reviews of two more kits for my stash and all my paint. I'm very happy, guys, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And may God bless and happy modeling. And please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video, which will be uh, tomorrow. I should have another good update on my Stuka. Uh, Stuka's turning out real good. I got all my paints now, so I'm ready to go. Anyway, guys, may God bless. And we'll catch you great fellas later. And we'll see you on next next YouTube. Bye, boys.